Good morning, Jim, AG6IF. I'm going to show you today is how to set up your uh, your serial port pass-through, in this case, my case, uh, AIM 4170 antenna analyzer. I'm here in the shack this morning. Uh, so we've got an AIM here, and it has a serial cable, a serial to USB, and that's right here. So I'm using Linux. Um, well, first thing we're going to do is identify the USB port that gets uh, picked up or, or issued when you plug it in. So plug in your USB cable. Open a command window. I'm going to unplug this for a second. The command you issue to the command prompt is D-M-E-S-G, D-Message. You're going to see that I just disconnected. It says here, disconnect from TTY USB 2. So you need to identify the TTY USB port. I'm going to plug this back in. It's going to reissue. It should be the same one usually. D message. Now attached to TTY USB 2. Okay. That's what you're after. So once you have that, you come over to your virtual box here and select the machine that you want to adjust. Go into settings. Serial ports. Mine's already set up, but here's what you want. You want to activate the port number. Now you're going to assign a COM port to this TTY USB port that Windows is going to use later. I'm just selecting COM1 here. It's a host device. And the, the port file path box is where your Linux port, which we know is TTY USB 2. It's case sensitive and there's a slash dev in front of it. So here's what it needs to look like. So once you've uh, told it to VirtualBox to connect TTY USB 2 to COM1, you're good to go. Alright, so the uh, next thing you do is you start up Windows or in this case, uh, yeah, it's the only thing I use Windows XP for. So I'm going to hit start. This comes up pretty fast. My aim is already turned on, so my aim's powered up. Now, run your aim software. So I've got two versions here. I'm going to run the newest version. And it should come up, and it might give you an error on the COM port. You know, what you need to do is go into Setup, COM port, Enter COM port. This one right here. And mine's already set to 1, but make it a 1 if it's not. Or make it match whatever you selected in, in your uh, VirtualBox serial screen there. And uh, there you go. Now... Uh, uh, your AIM 4170. I'm uh, just double checking the tuning of my 30 meter APRS robust packet antenna outside. It's a magnetic. And uh, you can see that um, the SWR is the lowest um, at 140, 10.148. Um, my radio is 10.1473. So where the purple line crosses over the center line is where it's actually perfectly resonant so I went for uh, I went for the lowest SWR right here and uh, it's very close to where I need to be uh, it's under a 1.5 it's actually 1.3 to 1 so my antenna is tuned for APRS 30 meters which I'm uh, using to uh, work with robust packet with the group including Jeremy N1ZZZ there so uh, if you have a uh, virtual box machine and an AIM 4170, that's how you get them connected up. So uh, it's a great analyzer. It's a lot of fun. It's a super high quality and it works really well. And this is, if you don't use Windows like I don't, uh, this is one, one option here. So, all right. Thanks for watching. And 73, this is Jim in Southern California, Alpha Golf 6 India Foxtrot. Take care.